Um, <laughs> what was today like for yeah. you? Like, if someone hadn't seen you doing what you were doing out there, what, how do you explain that? Uh, today was fun. You know, today was the day I was able to go out there and kind of showcase my abilities to these scouts. Um, I did everything from the 40 to the to the to the jumps, and then around some rounds after. So uh, I thought it was a pretty successful day, and it was a fun day just to be out there. And it looked like football weather, right? Yeah, exactly, a little light drizzle slash moderate drizzle. <laughs> but um, you know, at the end of the day, you'll play in the rain regardless. So it's just all about how you compete and uh, go from there. Does it change your approach at all? Like, I mean, in the days prior, are you looking at like, okay, I'm gonna have to deal with rain? Yeah, but at the same time. No, because at the end of the day, you play football in bad weather, like I was just saying. And I mean, you just go out there and perform. You know, you compete and you just, you know, do what you do, kind of. What was the kind of the thing you wanted to resonate with all those scouts that were there and the audience that was yeah. there? Well, the big thing for me was just my 40 time. Um, they they had a higher number than like what I knew I was able to run. So um, going into it, actually, I wasn't even planning on running the 40 just with my whole injury and everything coming off the combine. but. You know, after thinking about it and having conversations, um, came to a kind of a consensus that I should run it, and uh, it worked out well. You know, I ran a, I, I believe, a pretty good time, and uh, you know, I guess I uh, held myself out a little bit today. I'm gonna ask this next question two ways, just to kind of go over the whole gauntlet of things. But mm -hmm. what's life been like from the moment football season ended here to where you stand today? It's been busy, um, just working out every single day. Obviously, I have uh, the senior bowl I had to uh, prepare for and had to do, and then I had the combine that whole week. So. Um, you know, it's just been busy, but it's been fun at the same time, just enjoying the process because uh, you only get to live at one time doing this. So uh, for me, it's just been enjoying the process and uh, having fun with it every single day. Where has uh, football taken you across the country lately? Uh, it's been taking me kind of everywhere. I mean, um, most recently I flew down to obviously Indianapolis for the combine and whatnot. And, um, you know, I'd, I spent some, a whole week there. And then for the Senior Bowl, um, flew down to Mobile, Alabama. Um, was down there for a whole week, so and then obviously all the layovers in between, so <laughs> been a couple other places as well. But uh, at the end of the day, though, it's just fun, you know, and it's, I'm glad I'm able to, you know, experience kind of, you know, the U.S. I guess you say in a way, just through football and uh, what it's provided provided for me. So it's been a cool deal. That's awesome. When you think about the combine and everything you hear about it beforehand, did it live, did, did did it help to have that ex that expectation, or was it just unlike anything? Um. <laughs> there's definitely a, there's definitely something to the combine, right? I mean, uh, everyone's just so hyped up about it, um, and obviously, mainly it's the 40. So you just know that going into it, and you can feel the anticipation in the air when you're there. And um, you know, at the end of the day, though, it's just something you've been training for for the last three to four months. So it's done to be like really worried about. You just go out there and do you, and you know, let the results take care of itself. Was there anything you didn't expect? Yeah, my peg injury on the bench press. That was yeah. <laughs> that was kind of uh, unexpected, but. Uh, now, as far as like the combine and what I was prepping myself for it to be was pretty much what it was. Got you. Um, when you're there, and, and, and I know you've got the highest confidence in yourself and your ability, how awkward is it though when you look around and you go, okay, now I'm competing with all these guys in my position and they're face to face right. and it's real time results and you're seeing that. It, it, is there any overwhelming feeling about that? No, nah, not at all. I mean, those was great players at the end of the day, every single one that was at the combine that I was there with. but. It was just cool being a, a part of the, part of that group and being around those guys and uh, kind of picking their brain as well about things and going from there. But um, I thought it was a good deal overall. Was there anything that you took from that and brought into the pro day that you that, or anything that stood out from there that you brought into today? Um, not really. You know, uh, my whole deal is just focusing on myself, um, doing what I know that I'm capable of doing here today, and uh, just know, you know, I, I do what I do when it comes to routes and uh, going from there. So. That's kind of my approach to it. The physical attributes speak for themselves, but the, yeah. the FaceTime with NFL executive scouts, uh, th that that individual one-on-one -on -one time, right. what do you want them to know about Keelan Doss when they speak to you? Um, I just want to let them know that, you know, if you draft me, you'll get a guy that's a hard worker and I'm for the team, and I'm just here to make the team, you know, as, as good as I can. And, um, you know, I want to maximize my potential to the fullest as well. So, like I said, I'll put the work in to do that. and. Um, you know, they got a guy that's loyal to him as well. So, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and it should be a, a fun process moving forward. Have you enjoyed the process? Oh, yeah. I love them, man. I mean, like I said, you only get to do it once. So, yeah. if you hate it, that's shame on you, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would imagine you're kind of looking forward to it to be over, right? I mean, at least with. Yeah, in a way, I guess. But now it's just moving on from this phase to the next phase, which is, you know, private workouts and visiting teams. And then from there, obviously, the draft later this month. 
Do you have a, um, a number in your head yet, or is it still too early to know how many stops you're going to be making with teams? Um, teams, the funny thing is, teams could, uh, they could pop up like out of nowhere and, uh, you know, come here for the day or whatnot. And right now, though, I have two, vi two workouts with the Raiders and the Niners coming up, and then I um, – I'll have to see after that what other teams want to work me out and like have me on visits. But like I said, it's just so sporadic that they could come at any time. Is it hard not to look at when you sit down with a team, even before doing that, do you prepare at all to meet with that team? Do you kind of try to familiarize yourself with their roster uh, and their needs? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I mean, you, you, you kind of have to, I guess you could say. But me, I watch football a lot anyway, so I know a lot of the guys and personnel. But, um, you know, I mean, you should. It's like it's a job interview, you know, so you want to make a good impression for the most part. You shared a story about with, with John Gruden earlier today that I thought yeah. was amazing that I think people should know about. Mm -hmm. It all came down to the Senior Bowl, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I, I grew up a Raiders fan uh, down in Alameda, so I, I grew up watching John Gruden on TV. And, um, you know, funny story, I ran into him in the elevator <laughs> from the Senior Bowl. We were going down, and he was like, you know, there goes Dawes right there. And, you know, I was like, oh, you know my name? Kind of, it's kind of cool, like, you know, but... Uh, so we, we chopped it up for a little bit in the elevator, and he was just telling me, you know, he thinks I'm a great player and just, you know, bust my bust my butt this week pretty much at the Senior Bowl. So um, it was cool. It was kind of a surreal experience just because, you know, I got to talk to him firsthand in the, in the elevator. I used to watch this guy on TV every single day. So it was a cool deal. How fun is it for you to see that, you know, you look around and UC Davis, they've had some success stories, mm -hmm. but you're going down as the probably the most heralded athlete, accomplished mm -hmm. athlete they've had. Uh, there's not a lot of guys that have come from here to go in the NFL, and here you are, John Gruden knows Keelan Dawson from UC Davis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, I mean, I'd be lying to say if it's not surreal, but at the same time, man, like, I'm just happy I'm able to do it. You know, I'm blessed. Um, I, I mean, I couldn't do that myself, and I give the most credit to my coaches and my player and my teammates as well. So uh, without them, I'm not the player I am today. And um, I just want to, you know, show them that, you know, I respect them and I appreciate what they've done for me as well. So. I mean, but at the end of the day, it is a cool experience and uh, one that I'm looking forward to keep you know, going. Final few for you. Um, I imagine you get this question a lot, and people go, what is an NFL team getting in Keelan Doss? Yeah, like I said earlier, man, a guy that just wants to work hard, um, help the team win in any way, and uh, a loyal person. And that's kind of what I do. And a, a guy that could play multiple positions at the receiver and knows the defense. So that's kind of like my uh, whole game and uh, what I bring to the table. See, and you can flip that question and say, why is another team a better fit for you? I mean, do you look at them and like what what is a perfect fit for Keelan Dawson in an NFL team? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say there's a perfect fit. You know, at the end of the day, regardless who pay, who drafts me, you know, I'll be grateful for that opportunity, and uh, we should just make things work from there. So, I guess kind of how I look at it. NFL dream has probably always been there, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, I had NFL dreams since I was a kid, and now you know we're almost there. So potentially, and uh, you know, it was just a cool deal. Do you pinch yourself? I mean, there's a lot of people that don't get to fulfill their dreams. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but at the same time, I have high expectations, you know, and I I really set my uh, my goals in my life high so that even if I don't hit those, like, I'm right underneath it, you know what I mean? And that's just kind of how I live. And um, like I said, I'd be lying to say if I never pictured myself here because I feel like in order to accomplish something, you have to vision it first. And that's something that I do. And um at the end of the day, though, just being able to be here in this position is is pretty cool feeling. And like I said, I'm just blessed to be here. Does the dream change once you find that NFL team and find that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it has to. I mean, uh, the dream is no longer make it to the NFL. The dream is playing in the NFL, you know, for a long career. And uh, that's kind of been like my transition, honestly, for these last couple of years. Is not just making it, but playing, having a, su a successful career in the league. And that's something that I could uh, look forward to trying to do. If you were giving yourself a letter grade for today's pro day, what do you think that would be? Oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I would say, I would say maybe a minus to B plus area. Okay. They say, yeah. Any any reason why it wasn't a plus? What would be the flaws? Yeah. Uh, just just because I know I could even run faster on my forty, even though it wasn't bad or anything. Right. But I know I could even run even faster than that. But it kind of is what it is. So yeah. Yeah. I got you. Um, you're, you had so many teammates, former teammates, UC Davis player. You got your family there. Mm -hmm. uh, even some fans showed up. I mean, what was it cool to look up? And they're all there to see you guys, and oh, obviously yeah. you're kind of the center of attention. It, it was awesome. You know, I'm appreciative of all the support that came out, and like I said, not just for me, but for my teammates as well. Um, those guys deserve it. Uh, they're great players in their own rights, and uh, like I said, I'm just glad they all came out and showed support today. An Alameda kid to UC Davis. I know that's yeah. a little bit of a of a difference in culture shock and everything uh, yeah. like that. What does UC Davis mean to 
Uh, it means a lot. I mean, I mean, it gave me the opportunity to be the person I am today. And uh, without UC Davis, I'm probably not standing here in this position. So, I mean, they took a chance on me out of high school, and I, uh, you know, I, I can't thank them enough for that. So, um, everything UC Davis has done for me though, has been wonderful, and I, I'm just so appreciative of them. And then when we talked before the season started, you had the decision to make yeah. to come back here and accomplish what you pretty much accomplished this mm -hmm. year. You guys, I mean, no, I imagine no regrets in, in that no, decision. No, not at all. Even even when I made the decision, I was like, you know what, whatever happens, I could get hurt in the first game or whatnot. I'm not going to have any regrets because as a man, it's just something I got to live by. And so that's what I did. Yeah. yeah. Feel like an NFL player yet? Getting there. Yeah. <laughs> we almost there, so, yeah.